Nobel Nobel Laureate meetings provide a globally acknowledged forum for exchange between Nobel laureates and aspiring scientists. They were chosen by their Max Planck Institutes to drive exchange between different generations as well as scientific disciplines and cultures. This year the meeting will be all about physiology and medicine. I am currently interested in developing methods that can help us robustly explore the entire protein-protein interactions of a certain organism as fast and as accurate as we can. I'm doing research on what we call medical microrobotics, and my field is also called biohybrid medical microrobotics, which are a combination of motile microorganisms like bacteria. Uh, with synthetic materials like drugs or nanoparticles. So my main area of research is interception brain by interactions and I'm very interested in bringing computation modeling to this discipline. Currently I'm focusing on investigating the computation mechanisms by which interoceptive signals um, control effective expectations and learning. I'm a microbiologist. Um, I work with microorganisms and currently I'm trying to fit machine learning models, so complex models, so that they can modelize how bacteria behave together. I'm working on a phenomenon called perceptual bistability or multistability, um, uh, like this visual illusion, like rabbit and dog. Um, as you look at it, you might perceive the rabbit or the dog, and you just go back and forth while you are looking at this picture. And we think this kind of perceptual switch is a form of decision making going on in our brain and we are doing it unconsciously. So uh, I basically work on development of algorithms uh, and when I say algorithms, so in context of metagenomics. So currently I'm working on designing a prediction based algorithm for um, short and long reads which can be used uh, to predict antibiotic resistance potential. So, what do you expect from the 72nd Nobel Laureate meeting? Every researcher nominated by certain institute is offered to attend this Lindau meeting only one time, per life. <laughs> and I'm very, very lucky to attend it for the second time. Last time it was online because of the pandemic. So I attended Lindau meeting at the beginning of my PhD and now I'm attending it one more time uh, at the end of my PhD, but this time in person. I was sitting in front of my computer last time and super excited. What if I will see them in person? <laughs> it's, it's really a prestigious meeting. I'm looking forward to uh, discussing my research with um, uh, other research, uh, researchers from different parts of the world to gain their insight on my research and to gain and to know what, what's going on around the world in terms of latest technologies and in terms of latest science. So it will be a nice way to interact with um, a bunch of uh, or a group of researchers which are highly talented along with normal laureates. Of a scientific network that makes science thrive and also to have this um, interactions with scientists across um, different generations who are really uh, passionate and absorbed by their research and who are high performance. And I think I see this environment as influencing me and inspiring me for a lifetime in my own research and career. Uh, uh, I think, uh, I mean, science is a highly interdisciplinary uh, enterprise. Uh, so I think for solving any problem in, in, in science, you need not only to work on your own field, but also you need to interact with other uh, uh, domains in the science. And I think these kind of meetings uh, will provide me inspiration for solving problems in neuroscience beyond my uh, expertise, basically. Deep conversation, expert conversation on one topic, but I'm really looking forward to the general discussions about what it is to be a woman in science, what is the future of science, what's, what's going to happen with the publishing industry and so on, which I guess are more general, right, but still around science and that we need to contribute in our generation to improve. First of all, I'm very excited about going there. Um, not only because I will get to meet the, the leaders in the world in terms of uh, their respective science, but also young scientists from all around the world who have achieved so much to be able to go there. So basically, I'm excited about all this interaction and networking with the great minds in the world. The Lindau Laureate meetings truly inspire scientific generations and build sustainable networks of young scientists around the world. We are curious to hear what they have to tell us when they return. <laughs>